Hi, this is Les Walkling, and welcome to this short presentation on matching a reference image in 3D Lut Creator. A reference image can be almost anything. From a screen grab or a frame grab to the first image in a series, or a set of colour swatches or, or a colour palette, they will all serve equally well as the source image for an alternate colour composition. And this is an important observation, for it is only the hue and saturation of the reference image that will be mapped to the original master image. For example, if I want to shift this magnificent Canadian landscape closer to the feel and palette of Albert Bearstadt's 1864 Yosemite painting, I would first open the Canadian landscape into 3D Look Creator, and then load the Bearstadt painting as the reference image. Pressing C on the keyboard enters the before and after compare mode. But if you don't see the reference image on the left, press the equals key. This toggles between the before and reference images. From the edit menu, select match colors to reference to start the process. The dialog box that appears can be a little intimidating at first. So initially simply use its default settings. Later on, you can experiment with its remarkable controls. While the colour composition of the Bierstadt painting has been applied to the photograph, its overall appearance does not immediately resemble the painting itself because of their quite different tonal compositions. That is, the colours in the reference image are bound to their luminosity. Therefore, we need to intensify and darken the photograph's tonal composition for a better colour match. Adding the original master image to the end of our workflow and multiply blending it with itself, immediately darkens and intensifies its tonal composition so that it more closely resembles the reference image. Adjusting the range over which it blends further refines the match. Exporting this effect to Photoshop as a colour table adjustment layer completes the process. And this LUT can also be applied to any number of other images or film clips. I hope this presentation has been both informative and inspiring, and I wish you all the best with your adventures in photography.